creative living. Utilizing today's technology with the best of the past to bring you innovative ideas and up-to-date information for creative lifestyles in today's active world. With your host, Cheryl Borden. Marissa, it's always so nice to have you come. I always like the projects that you, you bring there. For one thing, they're usually bright colors, which I tend to like. But let me ask you, before you tell us what you're going to make today, how do you come up with new projects to show people? I get inspired by things I see um, people creating all around the world and things I see in stores, on the street. And I get really inspired by having all these great tools and materials that I just want to do something uh -huh. with them. And believe it or not, we're going to take a t-shirt and you're going to make an apron, which is like the one you have on. And I'm so impressed that you put creative living on your apron. Well, creative living is also a great inspiration for me. <laughs> it's my favorite show. So I designed my apron in honor of my favorite show, Creative Living, oh, and the local you. culture of That's New Mexico. Right. Oh, you do have all in our chilies and yep, red, red green tamales. and, you know, sizzling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is just so cute and you're and you've added a belt so you know yeah, we this... all need a belt but you have your own quote holster yeah well <laughs> you know we are in the wild west so I've got my <laughs> scissor holster and it's holding my great extreme edge scissors uh -huh. which is what we're going to use to transform a regular t-shirt into an apron well you know I've heard you and other designers that I've had on talk about how important it is to use the right tools and until you came the first time when I first met you, I thought a scissor was a scissor. No. Now, I always knew you shouldn't use fabric scissors to do crafts. My mother taught me that. But I never knew there were so many designs. Yeah, there's so many different great types of scissors. This is one of my latest and greatest favorite kinds of scissors. That's got a flat, so you can really get close to the table, I yeah, guess. Yeah, these uh -huh. are great extreme edge scissors. They're great for fabric. They can also be used on paper. And they uh -huh. have a really fun little accessory, because every crafter likes another little gadget, gadget. in their craft room. <laughs> And this allows you to adjust the tension on these scissors. So if it's paper, it would probably be uh, need to be a little tighter and then the fabric's thicker. Yeah, Is that if you're doing uh, lots of thick layers of denim, denim or burlap, oh. you can loosen them up and hack, hack, hack through many layers, like easily, wow. like butter. And then if you want to tighten them up, you can cut through the finest silks and chiffons and you never have that problem of the fabric fraying mm -hmm. or going between the blades. How cool. I love the bright colors. That again reminds me of you, of course. Thank you. But uh, as we go through this, we'll be taking a look at various scissors. And these are, it, it, I notice it says titanium. That means they don't stick on sticky things that we're cutting, right? Yeah, we have titanium bonded scissors and we have titanium bonded non-stick uh, scissors oh. because we, we're going to do a really fun uh, sewing, no sew project, um, but they are great for people who sew. But just because uh -huh. we know how to sew doesn't mean we always have time That's or right. even want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we bought these t-shirts and we've decided we want to make an apron. Yeah, I was thinking it'd be fun to make an apron maybe for your grandson. Okay. Right, because there's so many fun girl clothes, but you know, I have a son and I like to do a little something uh -huh. for him too. So you just start off with a regular apron. Mm -hmm. I mean, a t-shirt. <laughs> t-shirt. It's first. almost going to be an apron <laughs> soon. Right now, it's still a t-shirt, and you just fold your t-shirt oh, in half. Fold it in half. Uh huh. And the great thing about these scissors is they can cut through multiple layers of fabric with mm -hmm. ease. So your first step you're going to do is just cut off these sleeves. And I'm using the 8-inch. Oh, and also you're going come right up inch. to the neckline. I thought you were going to cut off the sleeve, but it's really right more. Up, yeah, right up to the neckline. You don't want to uh -huh. cut the actual neckline itself. No. You want to save that. And you can even save these. I've, I've heard of people using them for pockets, and you can make a matching accessory oh. and all kinds of stuff. Well, but for sure. now, we'll just <laughs> Lay on put the it side. aside. Yeah, that'll be another project. <laughs> save it for another day. And so you've basically got what looks like It already a, looks like an apron. A, yeah, <laughs> we're almost there. So the next thing you're going to do is uh, cut away from the back of the collar like this. And, you know, we can always trim it later. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you would cut off. So oh, that so, creates uh -huh. your, your neck hole for your apron. Sure. And then the next thing you're going to do is fold the back, the back. in half like this. Uh-huh and lay it down like so. Oh, yeah. So you would you would cut along this this, this center line. back basically. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you make an opening up right straight up the back. You just want to do it in this order so you don't 
end up cutting off the wrong parts. <laughs> <laughs> and if you well, do, you can important. sew them back together, which, you know. Or have a new project. Or you could, you, you yeah. probably, that's where I get my ideas, you know. Right. Something goes wrong, that's where a lot of inspiration comes from. <laughs> so now's the fun part where I designed a way of making this flouncy kind of ruffled uh, tie for your right. apron. Uh -huh. And it's just such an easy thing to do. You just start here and you start cutting in a spiral. And this is a great project that you could even do with kids because it's easy. You know, a lot of times kids want to get into sewing and fabric stuff, but it can be a little intimidating and a lot of work. So I'm cutting in a spiral and then I'm just going to kind of round this part out. Oh, okay. Just to keep it nice and smooth. Well, and I think kids are just like I am for sure. I like to have instant gratification. I want it ready to wear yeah. the same day I make it. <laughs> I guess that's something we never gr grow out of. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I think we get a little bit of patience, but still it's, yeah, I like my projects to be fun and easy and fast and um, forgiving. You know that. And, you know, we think of an apron as being something you'd use in the kitchen, but there's so many projects, whether it's painting, building model cars, uh, working out in the shop, where you don't want to get some of that oil and grease and gook on your For clothes. Sure. So your, your glues and guys stuff. Guys can wear these, like you say, just like women Oh can. yeah, oh yeah, they're, they're great for that. And so, so we've hmm. just cut, we've cut these uh, pieces, so this is our apron. And then the nice thing you do is when you stretch it, the fabric just naturally rolls. rolls. Uh -huh. Yeah, because yeah. it's jersey. And this is also a great recycling project. You could get old t-shirts and Oh, maybe they tie have holes in the sleeves too or sure. something. That's great. So it's, it's fun. I love doing it. So once you pull it, you know, the fabric just kind of rolls like that uh -huh. and you've got your cool apron. Okay, then the fun part really yeah, comes. Yeah, then the That's fun what part because like. you know I love to embellish too. Uh -huh. <laughs> which is going to be a great opportunity to show you some of our other scissors. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to lay this out like this. Mm -hmm. And so something that's really great for embellishing, uh, I've used that in, in the apron I've got here, is no-sew uh, fabric applique materials. Oh. Uh -huh. So there's different ones. Uh, this one has some kind of dimension to it. Right. Some it's of them are thick. thicker. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then we've got a thin one here. This I'm going to use flat. probably the thin one for this, which I've got some of it right here. Peel. Peel and stick sheets. sheets. Uh -huh. No more sewing. You don't even have to iron them. They're great. <laughs> they are great. And I recommend using them with our non-stick scissors. Uh -huh. So we're just going to take some of this fabric. I've chosen a fabric Gosh, that I thought your grandson have, might like. Well, right. And I have lots of pieces about this big left from other projects that just sit there in just the drawer. Just sit there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I thought, well, this is a great, um, a great little theme. So... <laughs> You, all you got to do is uh, take a little yeah, piece. Yeah, I like that one. That's cute with the little horns. It is so cute. Little little monster. And, and these are nonstick scissors, but they're also bent handle. They uh -huh. come in bent handle and straight handle. So they can be used for fabric or sticky materials like the applique material we're going to be using. And I liked it too because sometimes you don't want to lift up your project. Maybe you've got you've got something sort of laid out and you don't want to have to lift it up. Boy, those scissors go right. You just right. move right along. Uh -huh. That's amazing. They're perfect for that. So I've mm -hmm. cut out this little little guy and I'll okay. set this aside. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to cut a piece of this no-sew peel and stick sheets. Which and you'd save that piece for a small. Save it for another little yeah. piece. I, you know like how I that, am. Yeah. I save <laughs> everything. <laughs> save everything. And then I've got all these materials. And then you just peel it off like uh -huh. that. Mm -hmm. And you take your fabric. And it's super sticky. That's yeah. why I see. <laughs> I would help you, but I would get yeah, stuck Yeah, that's to it. why I love my, my nonstick scissors, because they make this type of thing really easy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and then I can just press that. easily trim. Yeah, you press it down, mm -hmm. easily trim that off. See, it's stuck to my fingers, but it does not stick uh -huh. to my nonstick scissors. 
Yeah, so. get rid of that so that you don't have to deal with it yeah, while you're Yeah, so now you've got a nice kind of flat uh -huh. thing. Um, and you could leave it like that, or you could use, what, one of these smaller oh, pairs? Oh, yeah. So and some just of go them, in. I love to cut out things, so I tend to like to do some that. Some of them are very intricate patterns, and you may want to get right up into there, which which is a great use for these. These uh -huh. are I've not the used those. precision tip. These are new, and they've got these big handles, which gives you a lot of control and leverage. Uh -huh. They're great for cutting through multiple layers, mm -hmm. and you can um, really get into those tight corners. Yeah. They give you a lot of control just to the due to the design of them. So Because usually if they've got a small blade, the handles are small. So yeah. then you can't get your fingers this in there. This gives you a lot of control and power, and so you can get right in there and get into those tight and tricky spots where if you were trying this with your bigger scissors, it would be a lot more challenging. I can even get right into that little uh -huh. spot. And a good trick is always to turn your material uh -huh. rather than turning your, your scissors. scissors. That's just a I little see. handy tip. I can tell you've done that before. Yeah, I've done a lot of cutting, but because <laughs> I'm just addicted to these scissors, I just love them. <laughs> but I, I've gone ahead and, and done some uh -huh. ahead of time that we can just... Um, Let's show how you would, would adhere. Yeah, it's so easy. So then you can... Oh, and this the is guy. where the, the kids would really enjoy. Because oh, yeah. there's no wrong involved. way to do this. Never any wrong yeah. way in crafting. <laughs> I can see this like for a 4-H club and they could all make something and take it home with them the same day. For sure. Uh, I've even done events where we've printed t-shirts custom and then uh -huh. we've turned them into aprons and it, it gives uh -huh. a really nice effect. You know, real customized. Uh -huh. and, and that's a great just gift. a sticky on the back side, just, isn't it? Yep, uh -huh. just peel that off. You stick it right on. So this one is one that, you know, we left as a square. And uh -huh. some of them I cut super detailed, mm -hmm. um, like oh, this here's, shape. Uh -huh. Here's one. There's a cute one. <laughs> and so we just so peel those. So then would these be washable? Could you throw these yeah, in the Yeah, you can wash these. There's uh -huh. instructions. It's, it's totally washable, permanent, uh -huh. and customizable, easy, fun. And you just, you know, Okay. Keep embellishing. We've got all these, you know, like. Well, I appreciate you showing us how to do this, and you're right. It is easy, and uh, it's it's just up to your imagination as to how you want to finish it. Well, thank you for doing your apron and making it in <laughs> honor of Creative Living today. Thank you.